All right, I'm outside of my house here in Florida, and I've got the double gate, as you can see behind me. We share it with our neighbors over here. And my predicament is we'll get deliveries, and sometimes we'll open the gate from inside if we see or hear the gate sensor alert us from our sensor camera. And our camera I'm using here is the Eufy Cam battery operated, lasts for over a year after you charge the battery and that will give us a motion sensor inside through Alexa that someone's at our gate and we can open the gate. The thing is we have to monitor that I have to walk around to our front door from the gate around to our front door over here to drop the packages right back there. By the time they get back the gate is closing or has already closed on them and so I'll watch them sometimes. I'll show you a couple clips here they're out here and they're walking, pacing back and forth in front of these sensors, but that's not going to open the gate. I'm going to use the technology from YoLink here today with their new outdoor motion sensor and use that as a sensor to uh, pick up people motion from inside the gate it's okay to open it if you're inside the gate already outside the gate it won't detect motion it won't open it but inside it will open it so you have a way to get out always let's try it out And we're back guys. Welcome back to TW Home Show. Today we are going to be, as explained, installing this YoLink motion sensor. This is outdoor weatherproof from YoLink, brand new product out. I'm very happy to have it. I tried to do something like this with their indoor motion sensor, but it's just, it won't uh, withstand the weather intrusion. This one looks like it's built to last outside. And in our case, we're gonna use it for my gate. Now you can use this for like an alarm for your gate, uh, you know, an alert uh, with your Amazon device. If, you know, someone's at your gate or at your front door, leaving packages or, or what have you. It's weatherproof all the way around, has a little mounting bracket here. And this thing works with the uh, YoLink long range technology. So this is gonna actually work for you up to a quarter mile away. So if you have a gate or entrance to your property within a quarter mile from your house, from the YoLink uh, hub, which you're gonna need. The YoLink hub is needed for any of their sensors or uh, devices. And it's easy to pair with their QR code on each of their devices. We're gonna do that first, and then we're gonna go set this up. We're gonna show you what we're gonna do with this today by YoLink. All right, we're gonna go into our smartphone device and go into the YoLink app up here. And we're going to hit that scan code icon, the top uh, right corner next to the bell. Press that whenever you want to add a new YoLink device. And it's going to want to scan the QR code on the device you want to pair to your YoLink hub. So we'll go ahead and scan this QR code. Simple as that, guys. Once again, Yo Link, I love you for your simpleness. Now we can set this in a room. I'll go ahead and set a room. I've created a room uh, before called Home Alarm. I'm gonna make this kind of uh, part of our home alarm system, even though it's not gonna activate the alarm in this case, but I can easily find it. Press the check mark at the top right corner and bind device, press that. Has been done. I'm gonna press the set button on here one time. And hit done. Now we should be able to find it. There it is, motion sensor. Now it doesn't look like the, the icon doesn't look like this outdoor motion sensor, but that is it. And I did forget to rename it. So I'm gonna go into settings name it says motion sensor I'm gonna make this um, 
I'm going to name it gate exit sensor because that's what this is going to be for people who want to exit our gate out front, UPS, FedEx, even me if I want to exit the gate and not take my little remote key fob, this will activate the gate from inside of the gate to open it. It's going to activate my switch box which actually presses a button on my gate fob. If you want to see that video, check it out. I'll leave a link up above there. So anyway, let's go out and mount this Yolink outdoor sensor. All right, I've got the sensor mounted out here, the outdoor weatherproof sensor by Yolink. And uh, I got it mounted right to my box that I have my switch box clicker in. See that? mounted up there sturdy so it's facing this way inside the gate so we got to make it control our switch bot our gate control when anybody walks in front of that so it will open back up and people can leave all right so first we're going to go into our Alexa device and do a discovery on it or actually uh, make sure it has discovered it so I'm gonna go first I'm gonna go to more when I go into my Alexa uh, app, hit the more button and go into skills and games, press skills and games. And I'm gonna press your skills. That would be my skills at the top right. And I'm gonna look for the YoLink skill app that works with Alexa and there it is at the top. So I'm gonna press that and I'm gonna disable the skill first. Now, if you don't have the skill yet, you'll want to find your link within Alexa skills and then enable it, download it. And you'll have to log into your low link, your yo link app and then enable to use. Now we're going to go ahead and press the enable to use button and confirm log into yo link. Okay. You'll see you're logged in. Go ahead and hit the close button at the bottom. And now it's going to want to discover devices again. So this is going to enable Alexa to discover all your YoLink devices, all the new ones, which we just uh, paired with YoLink, our outdoor motion sensor. It should pick it up now within Alexa. It takes about 45 seconds. And there it is. Alexa found a device called Get gate exit sensor so that's what we want we're going to go ahead and go into setup device choose a group i'm going to choose uh, my group to go into uh, garage gate group which i had already created in alexa add to group and it's added so continue and hit your done button now we can create a routine with our new outdoor yolink sensor so I'm going to go to hit the more button at the bottom right corner. I'm going to check routines about halfway down, press that. And I'm going to create a routine. I'm going to hit the plus button at the top right corner. Routine name. Uh, I'll say gate exit will be our routine name. You can name anything you want here. Hit next at the top right corner. When this happens, hit the plus button and when a smart home device happens, we want to choose when something is picked up from our gate exit sensor. So we're looking for a gate exit sensor now. Gate exit sensor right there. Press that. Select that. When detected, press when it detects somebody in front of it, we want it to do something. Hit next on the top right corner. And the action we want it to do when it detects something, hit uh, your plus button there, add action. And again, we want it to do a smart home device. We want it to activate another smart home device. Press your smart home. And we're going to do all devices. We're going to search for it. And we're looking for gate control is what I named my switch bot button for the gate fob. So we're looking for gate control. Gate control right there. Select that. We want it to power on. It's going to press the button once. Hit your next button, top right corner. 
and then save action, save your routine, top right corner. Routine created successfully. So I think it's time to go try it guys. After this, stay tuned because I'm going to show you how to have it pull up a camera as well on your any of your Alexa screen devices. But let's try this out first. All right, we're going to test this gate exit control device out with our Yolink outdoor motion sensor. Now this coming out our front door now because usually they'll leave uh, packages, UPS, FedEx or whatever, and then they'll have to walk back around. See, they'll walk back around to our gate. And most of the time, the gate's gonna be closed like this. And then they're surprised, they're like, man, I just came in here. I don't wanna, you know, knock on the door and say, open the gate. But here we go, let's see. There's a the motion sensor up there. It works worked as planned guys so that's how you do it with the outdoor Yolink weatherproof motion sensor all right we're in my kitchen now and we're going to create a custom routine uh, we'll add to the one that we already did with our uh, Yolink outdoor motion sensor so I'm gonna go into Alexa here and open up Alexa and I'm gonna go into the bottom right corner more and select routines which is halfway down select that and then there's our last routine created gate exit we're going to select that routine we're going to modify it here really quick it's easy to do okay down here we got gate control power on we're going to add another action after that so press your plus button there and it's going to be a custom action at the top of the routine selections uh, we're going to uh, check custom and what you want to ask Alexa. So we're gonna say uh, show gate, which is what I named my Eufy cam pointing at the gate out there. And we're gonna hit done. And hit next to the top right. So it's gonna do our gate control and then it's gonna say Alexa show gate. And we gotta select from what device here now. So press on choose device. And we're gonna choose, in our case, kitchen counter. That's this device right here, kitchen counter. We got that selected. We can hit our arrow back button, top left corner. Routine updated successfully, so we're good to go. Let's try it out. You can try it out when you're in your routines app. Uh, there's play buttons to actually play the routine to test it. So there's our gate exit. I'm gonna hit the play button there. Now playing your okay. routine. Okay. Now it should be opening the gate, and then we'll see it displayed here on our kitchen device. There we go, guys. And the gate is opening. Okay. There is a buffer sometimes on the Eufy cams. For the most part, it does work. Of course, since I'm testing, we're getting some buffering. So in this case, we could see who was exiting our gate. Guys, thanks for tuning in to another one of my videos, and I'll see you on the next one.